guys and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Bronte and today we're going to be doing a bit of an interesting tutorial being the doing my makeup from high school. So I have chosen to do my formal makeup which is an interesting one to say the least. This is the makeup that I had for my formal. I mean I thought I looked pretty glam. I wasn't, I even back then I didn't really like my eyeshadow so at least I can at least I can give myself that. I didn't even really like my eyeshadow at all, at all, when I went to my formal. So at least I didn't love myself sick. But this is what the photo that we're going off. I don't know if I'm going to get there. So let's just get straight into the video. Look at my current skin tone versus that skin tone. Like, let's be honest. I obviously had a very dark fake tan on, but I am going to put a very dark foundation on to see if I can match it. And I was very shiny, 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 shiny. Um, I'm going to go with a dark shade for my foundation. I'm going to use the 320, and this is the natural tan in the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Couldn't tell you what I actually blended the foundation in with. There was definitely a liquid foundation used by the looks of how shiny I look in all the photos. When I had my formal I definitely had some hectic spray tan I can guarantee like how do I look so tan because I had a spray tan that I left on for like 30 hours. So for concealer, concealer was definitely not big then, I can guarantee that. Um, I am just going to use this um, Instant Age Rewind in Honey because it looks like I have something under my eyes but it just isn't a very light colour, it's a bit of a dark colour. Hundred percent sure there was no powder involved in this situation considering how shiny I am in the photo. Lucky my eyebrows have slightly improved since then. I mean, this is them not filled in now versus back then. They were not filled in for this photo. Filling in eyebrows was not a thing. So I'm going to go with my natural as they are today. They're, they're definitely thin on the bottom. They're just not quite so bad. The eyes look like I've just put, like literally smudged like a blacky brown color and sort of just triangled it out and then put a shit ton of like silvery toned highlight or eyeshadow also up there. Um, for the eyes I'm going to use the nudes by Maybelline of course. Um, I'm going to go in and just start with a dark shadow because it appears that that's what happened. Um, and I'm going to just apply that in the outer corner and then into the inner corner. And then I'm just going to bring it out like literally as far as possible. I feel like it made my eyes look so much more hooded, the fact that it was like so triangle. I don't even know how to do this anymore. It's like a more harsh line that came from down here to triangle it out. So I'm going to just harshen that up a little bit. <laughs> and then I feel like I had some like shimmer on the lid. So I'm going to go with these two like shimmery tones and just apply that because like the silvery gray like shimmer was just so big back then because no one could figure out what the hell they were doing then it looks like i've got like a really gray shimmery tone just plastered all around here so i can't really find like the right one so i'm just going to use the blush blushed nudes palette and i'm going to grab this silver shade and just apply it to my brow bone and everywhere else up here, down here, oh yes. So I've just put these really extra, extra eyelashes on because I don't really think it matters too much how good they're stuck down considering how badly my eyelashes were clearly on when I did formal because, you know, no one cares about properly glued down eyelashes. And just darkened up, up around here a little bit more just to sort of make it look that little bit more dramatic because obviously it was super 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 dramatic when I wore the triangle so I'm just going to put a little bit of liner in my lower waterline and just a little bit of the dark shadow along my lower lash line just a slightly 
as well. Okay, so it looks like I just put like a little bit, I had a little bit of like a contour, like a weird sharp contour and a little bit of blush too. So for contour and blush, I'm just going to use the Master Contour Palette and the contour shade to start off. It looks like a relatively strong contour slash bronze, so I'm just going to apply like streaky like here because I guarantee this is how it was done into the temple and then blush I'm going to use the same blush in the same palette just apply it directly up and really on my cheeks I feel like there was a bit of a rosy blush everyone put blush on these days so I guarantee there was quite a bit on there look I don't really think there would have been highlighter I just I just can't see it happening but I'm just gonna put a little bit on there because I look so shiny that I really really hope that there was highlighter on but probably not. For lips I'm wearing a lipstick lip gloss combo I remember there being the lipstick and then I took the lip gloss with me and put the lip gloss on quite a few times and it just was way 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 too light for my lips and definitely not a color that I would ever wear you can see for lip color I'm going to use the Maybelline super matte ink and this is in the color 05 loyalist yeah and then there does look like there's a gloss as I mentioned over the top so I'm just going to use this super stay 24 hour color and this is in the color 110 so pearly pink I do think that it would have been a lighter color than this but this will do and here you have it that was the finished look I do think it does look pretty similar in terms of like the craziness of the triangle of the eyes the very extra lashes and just the very light lip gloss slash lipstick that I definitely would never wear anymore um, I hope you guys liked this video let us know what you think in the comments below or let us know what you did for your formal or prom makeup when you're at school and if it was better or worse than this um, I hope you guys like this video let us know in the comments below as always what you would like to see next subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully we'll see you all very very soon bye guys